for all the Bassmaster Elite Series events, we have a 30 days off limit. So it's great to come up here, spend some time on the river, St. Lawrence uh, River here up in New York, and, and just get a feel for what these fish are like and how they relate to this river. And there's no better way to learn but from to get in the boat with a guy that has so much experience and has won on this, this river several times. So to get out here with Steve Pickard is, is just great. It's going to be, I've already learned a lot, and I'm, I'm looking forward to spending some more time here on the river with him. There's a lot of great fishermen in the New York State Federation, and uh, I really feel privileged that uh, twice this river tre treated me well, and uh, I was able to top the uh, entire field. I'd love to do it three times, I can tell you that. Since I got here, really, I've just experienced just a portion of what I think this river has to offer. And to get to, in the boat with what Steve showed me yesterday and today, I mean, it's going to take a lot of weight to win here. And it's going to be a blast. No matter where you finish in the tournament, you're going to catch a lot of fish. It's going to be, it's going to be a good time. I think, it, I think everyone's looking forward to it. I know I am. Oh, we got it. Golly. Big it. There you go. <laughs> oh man. Come on, baby. She's not even ready. St. Lawrence smallmouth fishery. In my opinion, one of the best. I mean, this is like a two pounder. And he's just going ballistic on me. But man, pulling, pulling, pulling. On the Ocho. I mean, that, that's not even a two pounder. And you saw how hard that fish was fighting. I mean, I, I could have fun just catching those all day long. And yet, that would get me nowhere in the tournament. I mean, you would be in a hundredth with that. Hi, this is Steve Pickard. I'm just calling you to let you know that I'm gonna head into Canada waters. One important thing that you need to know when you come up to the St. Lawrence is the U.S. and the Canada actually share this water. Uh, most GPSs show it going down the middle of the lake with a little red line. But prior to going into Canada, you gotta make sure you follow the rules. There's a 1888 number that you call. And now we're legal to go into Canada and hopefully catch a bunch of their fish. Ah, that's got to be a four pounder, huh? And they will come for that swim. Just a beautiful. Beautiful St. Lawrence River Smalley. Look how wide that tail is. I mean, that's the power right there. Yeah, I mean, just all that and all this right here. When they start flexing that and start running hard. And I mean, look at them. They're like built like Mike Tyson. They're just stout. You know, bass is the, the worldwide authority on bass fishing. And they have just competition at every level. No matter where you are in, in the sport, you can get involved at a club level, at the open level, regional level, all the way up to the national level. Not to mention the, the high school programs are, are just incredible. Uh, Bass has put together a, a elite high school experience, which is really big, but you also have the high school and college competition that's really grown and just exploded in the last two or three years. And I think that's really a lot of the entry points that guys are fresh bloods coming into the sport through that high school and now college, uh, uh, the collegiate competition as well. My goal is to get where James is at. Um, it is a hard road. It's countless hours, time away from friends and family. I mean, you really got to have a lot of support. James is very fortunate. All the elite guys are very fortunate. They're doing something that they love for a living. And a lot of people can't say that. Um, and hopefully, you know, one day soon, uh, I'll be in that same boat. Dude, he smoked it. Oh my gosh. Nice. Golly, I was just jiggling it and all I feel, I feel poop. He ate it. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a carp. He's so big. <laughs> nice fish, James. Thanks, man. Oh, man. To be able to see a fish like that in the water and then pitch out of that, that tube and have her just go down and, and eat it, that's that's about as cool as it could get right there. That's got to be close to four. That's got to be four. Oh, he's over four. I mean, yeah, he's over four. <laughs> he's definitely over four. Wow, that is a pretty, pretty fish. Golly. Put her back. Oh, this is exactly why I love the St. Lawrence River right here. 
There's countless fish that are of this quality. Golly. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful dude. fish, man. Hey, I had a great day with you, man. Man, I'm still enjoying the experience. <laughs> I mean, this is like the Steve Picker guide service. You'll have a guide service up here. My <laughs> yeah. gosh. That is a stud and a half of a fish. Beautiful fish. I mean, Same. you know, the places that you could go across the country and work really hard not to get, I mean, to catch one like that, and you won't. And to come here, we've seen several like that. Today. Several, several. Beautiful fish. Way to go. Thank you very much. Let's get her back in. <laughs>